Hello, this is Overlord Boat, and we're back with another first look with my friend SAT Score. And today we're going to be looking at the new German DD line that's currently in testing. So, all the stats we'll be talking today are up to change, they are not finalized. Just to make that clear, these are test ships. You see right here, they're all test ships. So, all the stats we're talking today are not finalized. So, today I'll be looking at the Z31 which is the tier seven new uh, German DD, the tier eight mark here, the new German DD, and the tier nine, the new German DD for the line. So the Z31's premium skin, it looks like this. This is the lighter color, and this is the darker. I personally like this one more, it looks really cool. I like this one more fan. It's a little, it's a little more fancy, I like that one. The premium skin for the tier eight has a little more tan lines. It shows, it more brings out the little bulges right here the lines right there and the darker brings out more the little blue brings out more of the wavy lines here i like both of them for the tier 8 very nice choices the tier 9 it has more of a blocky feel for the lighter and then it brings out more of like more of the black on this one so today i'm gonna let sat score talk about the stats for the ships so i'm gonna pass it on to him all right Let's go start with the armor layout. So you'll notice that the tier, the seven through nine ships all have a midsection 25 millimeters of armor. This is fairly unusual in terms of destroyer armor. You'll also notice that the turrets are also armored. Those are two, you can say they're kind of features of the upcoming German line. As far as the hull and the superstructure is concerned, they're, they're the same as the destroyers of their tiers. So nothing remarkable. So for artillery, all of these ships, all these test ships will be carrying 150 million guns, the largest carried by destroyers so far. It is similar to the guns you will find on the tier 6 gate and the tier 8 Z23. The Z, I believe the Z31 carries it in double mounts and as well as the tier 9 and the tier 8 carries it in single mounts. Yes, the tier so, the tier seven has the one double mount in the front, and the two singles in the back. While the the tier eight has the two singles in the front, and the singles in the back, and the one middle here, and the tier nine has the three guns with the the three double mounts there. All right. As for their shells, the H their HE shells also follow the one quarter pen and so we'll have 38 millimeter base HE pen. Their AP, AP shells are special in that they carry, and that they have enhanced ricochet angles, similar to the USN cruiser, a uh, heavy cruiser line. Starting, starting the ricochet checks at 60 degrees of angle and uh, auto balancing starting at 75. For torpedoes, they carry double, uh, double quads, 533 millimeters, deal about 13,700 13, damage, so similar to the other German torpedoes, with 7 kilometers range around that and about 60 knots of speed. For AE defense, it's they all carry relatively short range AA. I believe starting at either tier 8 or tier 9, they'll start carrying DFAA to further enhance their A firepower. Yes, the tier 9 has DFAA and the tier 8 has the DFAA. Yes. And the tier 9 has 6.9 AA range with DFAA, which is the longest AA range in the game currently for DDs. But this is all subject to change. For maneuverability, all destroyers have a relatively large circle of around these hundreds to eight hundreds. Speed of thirty-six is similar to other destroyers as well. Rudder shift about four to five seconds. Uh, when you get over to the concealment, so for base concealment, each destroyer is around eight kilometer. The Z thirty-one has seven kilometers base. The Tier 8 and Tier 9 have about 8.2, 8.3-ish concealment. Relatively high for a destroyer. Yes. And finally, let's take a look at the consumables. 
So, unique for the German 150 millimeter line, they don't carry smoke, but they do carry the they carry hydro and DFAA. Yep. Yes. And I'll let Bo and I'll let Bo talk about uh, how the stores may possibly play. Keep in mind that we're only theorizing and we have not actually played these ships. Okay. So any uh, so any conjectures we have on their playstyles is based off of what we see on the stats. Okay. So from I see from the stats of the guns and with the torpedoes, it's clear that from my previous experience with the German DD lines, that this ship is going to be more of a similarity to the Russian gunboat line. So this this boat doesn't have the concealment to push into caps with the 7.2. That is way too high. So it's going to be more of an open gunboat. From the stats, it shows that it has a 7.5 second reload. Uh, all of them have the 7.5 second reload. The HE is not very strong for these ships, so it's gonna be running a lot more on the AP pen with the improved pen angles, which we talked about earlier. And it's gonna be more focused on its AP and less on the HE, since the damage of the HE is so low compared to the AP. This vessel is gonna be mostly focusing, it's pretty much like a mini, mini cruiser at this point, instead of being a destroyer, it's gonna be more like a mini cruiser. You have to play this thing more at range. You can't be really, really close up. If this thing gets into a fight with other DDs, it's most likely going to lose due to the fact that it has more of a gun, but you have to use AP, while the other destroyers are able to use HE and set fires, and there's that as well. The ships also are not very maneuverable. They do not have speed boost to be able to get away from fights, which means that destroyers can also push on them and bully them into submission pretty much, while the DDs that they're trying to chase, if these try to chase DDs, they're going to be, they're able to smoke up, they're able to hide. Even though these ships do have sonar, the sonar is only for four kilometers and torpedoes are three. So they'll have to have to get in between four uh, kilometers. Let's see here. Does the, yeah, okay. So this one has the five kilometers. I forgot about that. The tier nine has five kilometers for the 3.5, the torpedoes. And then the tier, the tier eight has the four kilometer and three. I apologize about that. How the higher tier they go, the, the more the sonar goes for the German DDs. So the most, like, the, if you're trying to compare this to a line, I would say the Russian DD line is the most similar. Their play style is going to be very similar, except for the fact this is, this line is going to use more of the AP rather than the Russian DD line would be more of the the Russian line would be using more of the HE. So that it pretty much covers it, I think, for the tier seven, eight, and nine. Do you have any more comments in the VR or anything we're missing? Uh nope. That covers all of the base uh, the basics of the new German destroyer line. Okay, well I thank you very much for your time today, brother. I appreciate you, man. If you guys have any questions or concerns down below, definitely let us know. And I'll talk to you guys later.